The Indians went into this game with a batting heavy side with Dhoni at number 7 and Ganguly and Sehwag at the top. Tendulkar, Dravid and Yuvraj Singh formed the middle order. The three seamers included Agarkar, Zahir Khan and Munaf Patel and Harbhajan Singh was the only specialist spinner. A young Bangladesh side went in with seven batsmen as well with the relatively unknown Tami Mikbal and Shahriyar Nafis at the top. Their bowling included the young and impressive Mashraf e Murtaza and the experienced Mohammad Rafiq and Abdul Razak to accompany Saeed Rasim. Rahul Dravid won the toss and chose to bat first. We'll get off. Saurav Ganguly bumped into the ball and it's been a direct hit at the striker's hand. Plenty happening here. There's a collision between Virendra Sivag and one of the fielders. Saurav Ganguly collided with the bowler. Well, this could be close because he could be in the air. That is, that is going to be tight. And is the foot in the air? Has he grounded it? Because he's made no effort with the bat. And we could have drama right from the start here. Both colliding. I think he's just in. I think that heel's just down. If the right decision has been made, it just fell off the heel. Well, Varel Sevag was just touching the ground. It's certainly not Varel Sevag wanted. He's trying to get back into form in the first run off the bat. And Ganguly collided into the bowler as well. First rounds for Sevag. Will look for two. And gets it quite easily. So both batsmen getting off the mark. A bit of relief. Not gone through, not tomorrow. It's the in cutter again. Mashrafi Murtaza is delighted. He knows it's a big one. And the Bangladesh supporters also go up. It's been disappointing yet again for Mahindra Seba. If you're out of form, he comes in. Bottom edge. It's not the shot. It's not the time. And India lose their first wicket. A big breakthrough for Bangladesh. Oh. He's getting the ball to talk. The last delivery was in an in-swinger. This one just swung away. These are easy pickings. Once you straight down the leg side, give that batsman a little bit more time. He was just marginally short length. Uttapa has put it away. It's the first boundary of the innings. A very good timer. He's taken this opportunity just shy, slightly short. <laughs> Middle stump can open up the onside, open up that front hip and ease it through. Lovely timing. In the air, it's gone. Slashed at it, took the outside edge, flew to the man at point. So the Bangladesh is certainly on fire to start off with. Robin Uttapa, the man who's uh, played that shot, just uh, saw it straying outside off stump, was rather extravagant with that shot and paid the penalty. Uttapa, the young batsman, chases the ball, ball that's moving around just enough. Two strikes, just look at these boys, Bangladesh. An excellent delivery to start with, a big shot, probably slightly outside the line of off stump, but a great delivery to start with. That's worked away beautifully. Just straying onto the pads and Tindalka is so good in that area. Well, he doesn't miss that. Pure class. The ball that he's just angled in full of length towards leg stump. That's all he needs. Head completely over the ball in a roll of the wrists. That's a beautiful shot. Just pick the gap. May not go down, but uh, they'll pick up three. No, they'll settle for two. Oh, that's nicely bold. That's gone. What a start for Abdul Razak. He has picked up. Sachin Tendulkar, the big fish. And they are on a roll. 
Certainly are. They've done their little jig and so have the fans. Fans who have followed them across the oceans. Gotten value for money already today. The inside edge on to pad and then taken by the wicketkeeper. Yes, good catch. Wasn't that difficult. It just went straight over the stumps, but he kept his focus on what was happening. And a good breakthrough. Thinking about it. Oh, that'll go all the way. No real backup. The throw was a quite a wild one. Well, under these kind of conditions, the you really don't want to give away too many runs. Bonus runs for India. That has raced off the bat of Saurabh Ganguly. Oh, yeah. Plenty of support from the fielders. They will get it when the bowlers are delivering the goods. Mohamed Rafiq starts well and in down. Up goes the finger. He's picked up a wicket with his first delivery. Mohamed Rafiq, the most experienced of the Bangladeshi bowlers. Oh, and now it's just arrival at the bowling greens. Drop it. Gone. This is a huge wicket. A very, very big wicket. You get an edge to it. Oh, it's hard to tell from that because it, uh, it hit in line and looked like it was hitting. That is a big wicket. India in trouble. As well, Hawkeye says it's going to hit. So the captain gone. Miles. That's gone, Miles. This is not a small ground. And it's gone into the top deck. Into the middle. Enjoy that. What a shot. First up up from Muhammad Rafiq, he had the, pulled it up actually from uh, outside the off stump. Got a good elevation and look at that, how far he has hit that. Super shot. Cracking shot. Big six. Saved a couple. Oh, topped it. Top edge should be taken and is taken. That is a good wicket. Abdul Razak Raj has done the damage. And uh, the Bangladeshi crowd who are here in Trinidad is having real fun. Yeah, we're starting to step up the pace. Played a lovely slot sweep. For I think it was a couple of overs ago into the middle tier of the stands and trying to work it leg side again. Failed to do so. Good catch. Very simply held. So often happens that when a partnership forms and one batsman goes, the other one follows soon after. They're jumping with delight. Why shouldn't they? They did a very good wicket. Big wicket. He just got rid of uh, Yuvraj Singh in the previous over, and now Zorat Ganguly. Two set batsmen back in the pavilion. Mohamed Rafiq. The short should have been put away, but didn't time it well. Hit him straight to the fielder. Um, Abdul Razak taking a catch. Soft dismissal. Big is an explosive player. We saw his uh, strike rate a little while earlier. Probably uh, look at a few deliveries and then uh, start working out. I think what the Bangladeshi bowlers would be thinking is to just give him a single and uh, bowl as much as possible to Harbour Jan Singh. We just have to wait and see how it goes about. Gone! Three wickets have fallen for just a couple of runs. Don't know what that says. And I guarantee you the feelings and the emotions are at an optimum level here for Bangladesh. Well, we talked about uh, 
almost a billion people watching it all over the world. Take a look at that. Mohammad Rafiq once again picking up a big wicket. Mahinder Singh Dhoni hitting it straight to the fielder at short third. No problems whatsoever. Aftab Ahmed taking the catch. Big appeal. First up could be tight. Could be very tight. What a turnaround of events we've had. 44 overs gone, 159 for 7. He might be smiling, but I think this is pretty plump. We are very, very fortunate to get away with that. Ajita Garka's first ball, and I'm not sure. The only thing it could have missed was leg stump. And he's played on. He's played it on. The spinners are doing a fabulous job here at Port of Spain. Bangladesh players, their expression says it all. It's just not the right option for the right time. We've only been at the crease for a very short period of time. He's going round the wicket, angling in. Really. The stumps are all over the place and India's innings is all over the place at the moment. And he strikes straight away. Good pace, good lift. Great line. And great work from Bangladesh. That ball sums up his performance today. First delivery of a new spell to a relatively new batsman. It's good lift for a loosener, really. He has been up. End of the innings. Is that a change of pace? Yes, it's a come down in pace. Good change up from Mortza. And a nifty little partnership of 32 of 28 runs between Zahir and Patel comes to an end. So does the Indian innings. Really got the seed. Had to reach, stretch. Easy catch. But an absolutely critical, valuable partnership. 32, the second equal highest of the innings. India managing just 191 getting all out in the 50th over. Saurav Ganguly played a laborious, uncharacteristically slow innings of 66 of 129 deliveries, while Yuvra Singh managed 47 of 58 coming in at 7. For the Minos Bangladesh, Mashrafi Murtaza was the wrecker in chief with figures of 4 for 38. That's beautifully struck. That really is a good omen for Bangladesh. A half volley, but uh, there was wet. And most batsmen like to make use of it. There's no second thoughts here. It's what? That's Hammond. Beautiful shot. Well, a lot about batting in these. If you're an opener, just picking the right ball to hit. Well, wow, that's four wides. You'll love those. Four no balls, in fact. No balls are wides. Buys. Once again, a good-looking shot, but this time it may not run all the way down to the boundary. But, uh, Bar Khan certainly has uh, made up his mind that he's not going to get intimidated. Point they are, but still very, very useful runs. Slash from that, but um, if you do hit it firmly in that direction, with the field standing inside the ring, there's always runs to be made an attitude and how to win a game of cricket. There's a bad ball there, you hit it. Good shot. Loves width on the up again. But no doubt, no half measures. Even if you get an edge, it's going to go. That Good must shot. be out. Yes, it is. Had it on and the ball just jagging back on him. There's no stroke offered. So India have struck very, very quickly and timely. Well, the wicket, the breakthrough that India needed. They needed early wickets. Zahir can bring the ball back in. Height would be the only question. But, uh, well, the umpire thought otherwise. Can get a bit of bounce, but uh, Hawkeye says just enough. India, the first wicket they need. How delighted is he? How delighted are the fans at home? In the air, that must be out, yes. No, was it off the face? The Indians 
thought yes, but um, doesn't seem to have impressed the umpire. That's a great shot. An excellent reply. On the back foot, punches it through the offside square of the wicket. Oh, that's down the ground. Charged on it. And what, what guts. He's not going to get intimidated by the short one. Four runs, eight runs on that over, 35 for one. This is what you could do. They're not going to get uh, affected by any way. Ten overs gone, 45 for one. Sunglasses help to hide the nervousness, the frustration, the importance of a situation. You can't see the eyes, but I guarantee you with this shot, talk about the messages that will be sent when shots like these are played. Great shot. It was in the air for a while. Zahir Khan threw his arms in the air. A shout of catch it. 50 up for Bangladesh, the only catching will be when Dragon throws the ball back. Yeah, 50 on the board, 50 for one in the 11th over. Bangladesh need 142 to win this so important game for them. It belies a 17-year-old really showing very little respect to the elder statesman. Because he's soon going to be his bedtime. Just look at this. Cracking shots. Taya Khan around the wicket. Tommy Mitbell dances down the pitch. Fifteen off the over, sixty for one. They showed some good reasons why today. Runs a hemorrhaging. Well, this is terrific stuff. It's not great if you're an Indian player or a spectator. These Bangladeshi boys are having fun. Dropped it. 50. For it, Bell. 12 overs gone, 67 to 1. Well played, terrific effort. 51 from 51, seven fours, two sixes. Dancing in the stands, there is some good support here for Bangladesh. Got him! Patel has his revenge. Very good delivery. He delivers from very close to the stumps. Just enough movement. It's good delivery too much you can do against this. Is he, is he guiding it past slip? I'm not so sure. I think it's an excellent ball. Donny does the rest. A bit of disappointment. Catch it! The leading edge against the Dusras. Looks like picking up a wicket. He lost a second wicket when the score was 69. Bangladesh. Edge that it all. Oh, has he taken his foot down? Big edge from Rahim and Mahindra Singh Dhoni, low catch, he's put it down. He put two down today, first it was draw, but now it's Dhoni. Once again, a very good delivery, had to play at it, outside edge, carried on a pretty low catch, but he was right there, just popped out in the last minute. Just put it away, much better this time, Harbhajan Singh has no chance whatsoever in the deep, he raced away to the fence. What a cracking shot that was. Big up here, this could be tight. Alim Dar is taking his time and up goes the finger. It wasn't a good shot at all under the circumstances. What a spectacular boundary. The last delivery that he had played and a poor shot in the end. Runaf Patel is the man for India at the moment. 
patient of delivery and uh, after just trying to hit it, uh, missing it completely. And when you miss that kind of delivery, you've got to go back to the pavilion. Heading in straight, that's it. That's a good piece of bowling from Manav Patel. Picks up a second wicket. Good strike. Very good strike. Manav Patel, the fielder, will not get to it. Much needed boundary to break the shackles and ease the pressure. That's hammered away. Don't bother they're running for it. Magnificent shot. Sakibul Hassan, the batsman, always looks a lot more elegant when a left-hander plays the shot. That's a cracking shot. Picked it up really nicely. Off the back foot. Down the ground. What an audacious shot that was. Took the ball around and straight over. Great six. Quite great. Beautiful shot, very positive. Raheem flighted ever so slightly, but on the up. Really hit that beautifully. Oh, cracked away. That will run down. Oh, Tinduka, would he cover it? Yes, he just gets there on time. That's good fielding. He's guided that quite nicely. There's an unbridled ability about the way Bangladesh have batted. That's going to go safely. And it's hit the rope. I think it looks as though it has dropped straight onto the rope. Should be six, if that is the case. I'm sure that the ruling is, if the ball hits the boundary rope, it's six runs. It's right underneath our commentary position. The third umpire has been called upon to adjudicate. I think this bounces straight on the rope. It does, right on top of the rope. Aline Dar is waiting for the decision. Have another look. Third umpire wants another peep at this. <laughs> oh, it's four. Give him four. All along the ground. Doesn't get better. Great execution of the shot. Yet another boundary. 14th of the innings. Spread the big shot. No protection in the deep on the leg side. And it's gone the distance. Just about when now you talk about the feeling pressure from the bowling part. Look at that shot. That's an absolutely outstanding shot from that little man. Moshfiqur Rahim. Came on to bat at number three and take a look at that shot. Down on his knees and bang. All the way. Huge six. Just one boundary but two sixes in his innings. That's good batting. Very sensible, very intelligent young cricketer. The Dawn was inside the ring, McVicket was inside the ring. He played the big shot to get the six and then followed up with a nicely played single. Miscue. That has gone the distance. He's looking for the biggie. Normally puts it a long distance away, just clearing the ropes. But the important thing, he was hitting with the turn. Brings up his half century. Brings up his half century with uh, a huge six. He's just talking about that there's no turn, so there's ample time for him to go down the track, make some room and hit him over the top of the cover. That is a good shot. Absolutely, inside out, going over the top. That could be gone. Yes, Dhoni does well. Has it come at the right time? Or has it come a little too late? The change of bowler working for India. But in this Sehwag has provided the breakthrough. It's been a good partnership. Well, is this the turning point? Well, in the Sehwag, in his very first over, gets Sakibul Hassan stumped. He goes up in the air. That's a great shot. Takes the challenge and uh, picks up a boundary. 
played it really straight back past the bowler. What a good shot. Nothing wrong with the delivery. It was on a length just outside the off stump. That it was excellent use of the feet. And he hit it straight, presenting the full face of the bat. It's the safest shot to play straight down the ground. The short delivery has been put away. Tendulkar in the deep. Can't cut it off. Excellent execution of a difficult shot from Rahit. He moves to 46. All the time he's going into confidence there. Mushfiqur Rahim. Take a look at that shot. That was the shot. Wide and look at that. Had to go up on his toes and played that beautifully away from Sachin Tendulkar who's feeling at deep third man. Intentional, deliberate, up and over. Tendulkar will cut it off. Looking for the second. Rahim will not get it. Gone. That's the second one. Habibul Bashar just wanted to hit it over the top of the fielder. I think that's good captaincy when he had both the fielders inside the circle at mid on and mid off. And when the server has done the trick again for India. Not a very good shot. And as a captain, you want to bat till the very end. He was looking to hit in the direction of wide long on. Laid down the wrong line. There was a bit of time. Good stumping from Dhoni. Isn't a convincing appeal from the bowler himself, Agaka? It was an afterthought for him and not upheld by Alim Da. Look for two, it'll just be a single. 14 required. Raheem moves on to 50 and well played. That's his second 50. Oh, that will do. Terrific shot. Stand and deliver four. Ten to win, Bangladesh. Four with both arms. A new signal for the umpires and the ICC. He can barely smile. Javi Bulbasha is close. He wants to restrain himself. I wonder how special the feeling was from Munaf Patel at cover. Where's it past him? <laughs> Straight underneath him. He is not one that you'd hope to be at cover. Not a good fielder, he's not a good athlete, he's a good bowler. Very silent shot. It's gone down, just about carried. Harbhajan Singh, deep backward square leg. Looked as if he was going to get there, I think he does. Would have been a difficult chance. I think he did get there. Just, only just. Takes off quickly, he's dying on it now. Might have fallen. It's just short. Thank you. Two to win. And it can barely contain the joy, the excitement. Done most things better than India, to be honest. Fielding, catching, bowling. And that set up the batting scenario. It's exactly what they have done. Everything better than India. Batted better, fielded better. And bowled better. But they have kept the nerve. Two to win. Two to go. Flags are out. One ninety for five. This was a level one to win. Job done is what they think. Yes, hands in the air, it's gone through. 
What an innings, what a day for Bangladeshi cricket. Is it their biggest moment yet? Well, only time will tell, but it is certainly a wonderful way to start their World Cup 2007 campaign, not for India. Take a bow, Bangladesh, you'd have a heck of a day today. You've been terrific. Lots to